MD-102 exam practice questions with explanations are available in this video for you to study. You have a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription. All Windows devices are enrolled in Microsoft Intune. You need to deploy the Remote Help app to all the devices. The solution must minimize administrative effort. Which type of app should you deploy? A. Windows app, Win32. B. Line of business, Lob. C. Microsoft 365. D. Microsoft Store. The answer is D. The Remote Help app is available through the Microsoft Store. By selecting a Microsoft Store app in Microsoft Intune, you can easily deploy it to all Windows devices with minimal administrative effort. This method leverages the Microsoft Store integration, which simplifies app distribution compared to manual packaging, such as for Win32 or Lob apps. You have a Microsoft 365 subscription. You use Microsoft Intune to manage devices. You plan to deploy two apps named App 1 and App 2 to all Windows devices. App 1 must be installed before App 2. From the Intune Admin Center, you create and deploy two Windows app, Win32, apps. You need to ensure that App 1 is installed before App 2 on every device. What should you configure? A the App 1 deployment configurations. B. A dynamic device group. C. The App 2 deployment configurations. The answer is C. To ensure that App 1 is installed before App 2, you need to set the dependency in the App 2 deployment configuration. In Microsoft Intune, you can configure a Win32 app to depend on another app. By configuring App 2 to depend on App 1, Intune will automatically ensure that App 1 is installed first before deploying App 2. You have a Microsoft 365 subscription. You have 10 computers that run Windows 10 and are enrolled in Microsoft Intune. You need to deploy the Microsoft 365 apps for Enterprise Suite to all the computers. What should you do? A. From the Microsoft Intune Admin Center, add an app. B. From the Microsoft Intune Admin Center, create a Windows 10 and later device profile. C. From the Microsoft Entra Admin Center, Add an enterprise application. D from the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Add an app registration. The answer is A. Before you can assign, monitor, configure, or protect apps, you must add them to Intune. Select Microsoft 365 apps. 1. Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. 2. Select Apps, All Apps, Add. 3. Select Windows 10 in the Microsoft 365 Apps section of the Select App Type pane. 4. Click Select. The Add Microsoft 365 Apps steps are displayed. You have a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription. You use Microsoft Intune to manage all devices. You need to prepare a Win32 app named App1.x for deployment. What should you do first? A. From the Microsoft Intune Admin Center, create an app configuration policy. B. Change app1.x to the intunewin format. C. From the Microsoft 365 Apps Admin Center, create a deployment configuration. D. 
Upload app 1.x to Azure Blob Storage. The answer is B. Win32 App Management in Microsoft Intune. Prepare the Win32 app content for upload. Before you can add a Win32 app to Microsoft Intune, you must prepare the app by using the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep Tool. You use the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep Tool to pre-process Windows Classic Win32 apps. The tool converts application installation files into the Intune Win format. You have a Microsoft 365e5 subscription. You need to download a report that lists all the devices that are not enrolled in Microsoft Intune and are assigned an app protection policy. What should you select in the Microsoft Intune Admin Center? A. Reports, and then Device Compliance. B. Apps, and then App Protection Policies. C. Devices, and then Monitor. D. Apps and then monitor. The answer is B. App report. You can search by platform and app, and then this report will provide two different app protection statuses that you can select before generating the report. The statuses can be protected or unprotected. You have a Microsoft 365 subscription that contains 1,000 iOS devices and includes Microsoft Intune. You need to prevent the printing of corporate data from managed apps on the devices. What should you configure? A. An app configuration policy. B. A security baseline. C an app protection policy d an ios app provisioning profile the answer is c ios app protection policy settings the policy settings that are described can be configured for an app protection policy on the settings pane in the portal when you make a new policy policy settings include Asterisk printing org data. Select block to prevent the app from printing work or school data. If you leave this setting to allow the default value, users will be able to export and print all org data. You have a Microsoft 365 tenant that uses Microsoft Intune. You use the Company Portal app to access and install published apps to enrolled devices. From the Microsoft Intune Admin Center, you add a Microsoft Store app. Which two app information types are visible in the Company Portal? Note, each correct selection is worth one point. A. Privacy URL B. Information URL C. Developer D. Owner The answer is A. C. In the Microsoft Store App Information page available through Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center, the app details include Asterisk Privacy URL Optionally, enter the URL of a website that contains privacy information for this app. The URL is displayed to users in the company portal. Asterisk developer. Optionally, enter the name of the app developer. Information URL or owner are not included. You have a Microsoft 365 subscription that uses Microsoft Intune. You need to ensure that you can deploy apps to Android enterprise devices. What should you do first? A. Create a configuration profile. B. Add a certificate connector. C. Configure the partner device management settings. D. Link your managed Google Play account to Intune. The answer is D. 
connect your Intune account to your managed Google Play account. Managed Google Play is Google's enterprise app store and sole source of applications for Android Enterprise in Intune. You can use Intune to orchestrate app deployment through managed Google Play for any Android Enterprise scenario, including personally owned work profile, dedicated, fully managed, and corporate-owned work profile enrollments. You have a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription and 100 computers that run Windows 10. You need to deploy Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2019 to the computers by using Microsoft Office Deployment Tool, ODT. What should you use to create a customization file for ODT? A. The Microsoft 365 Admin Center. B. The Microsoft Intune Admin Center. C. The Microsoft Purview Compliance Portal. D. The Microsoft 365 Apps Admin Center. The answer is D. To work with configuration files in the cloud, sign into the Microsoft 365 Apps Admin Center and go to the Device Configuration page under Customization. From that page, you can do the following actions. To create a new file, select Create, create a configuration file, and then select Done. The configuration file is automatically saved to the cloud as part of your tenant. To edit an existing file, select the name of the file, make your changes, and then select Done. To get a link to a configuration file, select the file, select Get Link, and then select Copy. You can use the link to refer to the configuration file when you use the Office Deployment Tool. You have a Microsoft 365 subscription. You have 10 computers that run Windows 10 and are enrolled in Mobile Device Management. MDM. You need to deploy the Microsoft 365 apps for Enterprise Suite to all the computers. What should you do? A. From the Microsoft Intune Admin Center, create a Windows 10 device profile. B. From Microsoft Entra Admin Center, add an app registration. C. From Microsoft Entra Admin Center, add an enterprise application. D. From the Microsoft Intune Admin Center, add an app. The answer is A. Add Microsoft 365 apps to Windows 10 11th devices with Microsoft Intune. Before you can assign, monitor, configure, or protect apps you must add them to Intune. One of the available app types is Microsoft 365 apps for Windows 10 devices. By selecting this app type in Intune, you can assign and install Microsoft 365 apps to devices you manage that run Windows 10. Select Microsoft 365 apps. Asterisk sign in to the Microsoft Intune Admin Center. Asterisk select apps, all apps, add. Asterisk select Windows 10 in the Microsoft 365 apps section of the select app type pane. Asterisk click select. The add Microsoft 365 apps steps are displayed.